All right, I just wanted to talk to you about uh, what came with the JBJ versus what I'm running in now. So here's the stock filtration with the JBJ. As you can see, it's quite a bit smaller. Um, this is the uh, in-tank acrylic um, from in-tank. So you can kind of see this, this guy here is right at two inches wide so, um, I guess the same width uh, there lengthwise same length I apologize and it's two inches there whereas this one is almost two and a half um, a little over actually two and a half inches so um, the, the big difference is you got this section here that's five and a half inches middle section is three and a half and then that top section is only two inches so as you can see this one here has quite a bit of um, mechanical filtration in it right a lot of mechanical filtration uh, this is much larger than these two these two are um, let's see here it's got a little three inches three inches and three inches There's three inches pretty much Oh, this is less, I'll tell you about it, less than three, less than three. So, so two and three quarters, two and three quarters with that one. Whereas, you know, two, three, almost, almost three and a half. And then that one's five and a half inches. So, um, you know, it just, just slide it out really quite easy. Just going to set that right here. Um, got your mechanical filtration. And this is basically the same thing as what came in the JBJ. I just bought bought that new. Um, didn't want to tear that one up. What I did is it was the same size, and I just cut it. You can kind of see it's kind of ragged here, but it's the same size. And so then I'm just gonna I just rinse it out in tap water. I mean, I know it's got uh, we have chlorine in our water here. We don't have chloramine. We have chlorine. So I'm just gonna rinse it out really thoroughly. But what I do with it is I will dry it really really well really well but this um i run this pretty much to keep all those big particles out but i'll tell you what it doesn't do too good of a job if you leave it in there too long you know they'll they'll, they'll make it way through it makes it way through so as you can see i mean it's it's looking pretty dirty in there so we're just gonna scrub it real good there that's getting, that's getting it out. That's getting it good. So I just do a nice scrub and I just rinse out the excess water. Don't let that sit there. And then I'm rubbing filter floss. I've got uh, some filter floss here. As you can tell, it's looking pretty funky. And then I've got a second one here. So I've got two that I'm running there. And I'm just going to toss that and wash that. And then. I've got a roll here, and I'm just going to uh, cut up this roll, if I can find some scissors, and just cut it to where the size I need. Doesn't have to be exact. I mean, that's that's about the size. It's about four by four, something like that. Um, so I'm also running. Uh, this is Purigen. This is Seashams Purigen. Um, it's looking pretty ragged, to be honest with you. But uh, it's only been in there for like three months. And I'm also running some GF. Um, this isn't GFO. This is Seashams. You know, phosphate remover. I can't remember the name. Anyway, I'm also running some Matrix, and I'll talk about, I'll, I'll shoot videos of each one of these and kind of talk about them in general. Um, and so this is my uh, kind of a mixture of mechanical, fil or uh, chemical filtrations, and then I have biological. The Matrix is biological, and then I've got uh, some ceramic rings as well. And then today I'm going to be changing out my carbon. So um, this is Seashams, um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, I can never pronounce that right, but this is the bag, um, the bag. Um, 
that I'm running here and I'm gonna go off camera and kind of jump out this car. There's a lot of carbon. Um, got some more carbon coming. Oh, this is quite dirty. This is quite dirty. Got some all right, I'm back. Uh, so I changed it out. A little less carbon this time. Um, so it's Black Friday. I ordered um, ROX from Bolt Roof Supply. That should be coming actually tomorrow, but I just want to get used, get rid of this stuff, get it used, and all that stuff. So I'm just going to. This is the hardest thing about. I not quite figured out a good way to do this yet, to be honest with you, but. I like these little zip ties. These are really nice. Something special. I'm just gonna uh, set it back in there, just like that. It's pretty good there. All right, I'll put my Purigen back pretty flat, and then I put my filter floss. Hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to. Looks like I might put a second. Actually, no, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wrap it. Just like that. Just like that. Alright. Then what I wanna do is I take two paper towels, take my mechanical, coarse mechanical sponge, and I just squeeze it in there real good. And it gets everything. It, gets a, it makes it pretty dry. And then uh, put the screen back on. This is usually okay. hold your tongue right. There you go. It kind of envelops. There it goes, just like that. So it's all ready to go. Um, so one of the things I really have to say that I like about the in tank acrylic design is. You know, you got the water that drains through here and it comes out here. It's great. But as you can see, the water comes in here. And depending on how much your water level is or how much flow you have, see how this is like lip right here? This basically sits right below where the, in the uh, entrance to the rear sump is, right? So the water actually kind of falls down into here from maybe a quarter of an inch. I don't know how high. But it, water falls down in here, and sometimes when there's enough water, it just comes over the back, right? Just slides right over the back because it's actually falling right in the center here, right? So the thing that I like especially about this is it's got this back wall up here, and it holds it, and that water won't skip over, and all the water going in here is going through this entire unit. Uh, that's one of the benefits, I think, to this system over over this. That's one of the main things. I do have to say, if you use their protein scammer, which isn't the best protein scammer in the whole lot world, this lip creates a problem because you have to have your protein scammer kind of cockeyed. But other than that, um... It's a great media box. Thanks for listening, and uh, I'll do another video soon.